in love absolutely loved it you know you're not a vlogger until you have an expensive candle as your brush holder <laughs> no shade thing hi guys welcome back to Lou's beauty closet if this is your first time here welcome i'm Lou. i post weekly beauty and luxury videos if you like the sound of that consider hitting the subscribe button down below and if you're already subscribed ring the bell next to it so you don't miss any videos without further ado let's get into it all right guys so before i get into today's video i took a week off i was on holiday i went to melbourne just to have some zen and chillax time so i'm back we're gonna get into goodies more beauty stuff coming so i just thought i'd address that we're doing january favorites how long was the month of january guys how long was it it was like a year. <laughs> so the first favourite is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi Use Sculpting Concealer. So it's just super easy to use, super easy to blend. Coverage is unreal. You get bang for your buck and you don't even need a lot. So you're going to have it. You're going to have it for ages. So I'm in the shade Maple. I love it. The Doeful Applicator. It disperses like the right amount of products. I'm wearing it right now. With regards to creasing, I have a few lines under my eyes. So no concealer will ever be creases on me but this doesn't really exaggerate it too much so i like it for that i love it guys it took it with me on holiday and it's been my favorite so far moving on since we're on the complexion product i have another complexion fave and it is none other than the Too faced born this way foundation i've been loving this i'm in the shade chai which is a extension of the this is a shade that jackie Ina collaborated with Too faced and created i love it pump easy to use yeah, it's stock standard 30 mils. I just love it. It's so, it just gives me a nice finish, like a satin finish. It's great for everyday use. I've just been wearing it as my everyday foundation. Really easy to blend, lovely coverage. Next up, I've got a brush. My other favorite is the Hourglass Vanish Foundation Brush. Now, excuse its appearance. I've used it today. It's dirty, it's dual wash. But um, I love this brush, guys. Now, Hourglass products are by no means cheap. Hourglass brushes are not cheap. This brush was about 60 something dollars. I carefully considered it before I purchased it. I like the size. It can literally fit in your palm. I took this traveling with me as well and used this as my foundation brush to apply stuff. Nice and dense, really soft brush, really good for applying foundation. So I just pick it up, dot it everywhere and blend, blend out with the same foundation. I like that it's a flat top so you can just stand it up on your Vanity, you know some brushes they're pointy so you have to put them in a pot. This one you can literally just stand it up by itself but it does go in a pot anyway but I like the design and um, the only thing is with washing it's a bit difficult to wash because of how dense it is and there's sort of no ferrule, the whole thing is the ferrule I guess so. But I love the brush, I've been using it non-stop this month and I love using brushes for foundation nowadays. I only use my sponges for concealer. Next item is a brow item, I've got the Benefit Precisely my brow brow pencil now i've pretty much been using benefit brow products i get my brows waxed at benefit counter as well so i'm saying shade six in this one it comes to this is the end of it and i love how thin it is because you can just get in and do your small brow stroke just don't wind it up too much or it will snap off and then you've got the spoolie on the end so it's convenient because you can just drop this in your cosmetic bag in your travel bag and or just your everyday handbag and just use it and touch up and you've got your spoolie on one end and your brow product on the other the only thing is it is pretty expensive and you only get 0 0.08 grams so it's really pricey but i have been enjoying it super easy to use and draw on so this is definitely suited for people who have smaller brows as well obviously with thicker brows you're going to use more but if you have really thin brows too and your head you just want to fill it in but you want to have control and it won't get away with you too quickly because it's so small. I really love it. I feel like an artist when I'm holding it and just doing my brow strokes. And next item I've got from Pat McGrath and it's her Lust Glosses. Now the two shades I have are Bronze Temptation and Flesh 4. I have been using these two non-stop last month, uh, especially Flesh 4. And I've been layering this on, on my lipsticks as well. These glosses are a gorgeous formula and it's not just the, some of them I find are more pigmented than others. Like you'll notice some of them with the just pure glitter, they're a lot sheerer. This one's quite nicely pigmented, but it's not, it's not full on pigment, but it's not too sheer either. And you can build it up like two coats. Once you put in two coats on it, that's one, that's just one layer of it. But if you put two, it's quite nice. It, the finish it gives your lips, like glass like lips, gorgeous high shine and it, your lip lines are smooth you know some glosses they settle into your 
lip lines. This one, when you put it on, it's as if they're not there. It just smooths it over. Your lips look like jelly, you know, and they feel gorgeous and it just, oh, just high shine. So that's Flesh 4. And then Bronze Temptation is the other one. This one I like layering as well. Because this has got some, this has got some, um, like, micro glitter in it as well but i like layering these they look fantastic another favorite because i'll talk about it in the same light because i've been layering this gloss another favorite of mine is the mac lipstick but specifically the P patricia bright one the makers collection she did like this sort of neutral brown nudey kind of shade and i've been loving this lipstick i literally took it with me on my holidays and i wore this combo like every other day <laughs> I took like five or six different lipsticks and these were the only two I was wearing. These these are what I was wearing every day because gloss is so easy. But I would put this lipstick on. And I think the Maker lips are still available. But I love that. And then I would put Flesh 2, Flesh 4, sorry. I just put Flesh 4 over it. How, so that's it down here. So that's Flesh 4 by itself. That's Flesh 4 layered on the Patricia Bright, Bright lipstick. See how gorgeous that is? And that would be my lip combo for the day. And if you follow me on Instagram, I actually did a, I'm doing a lipstick series because it's Feb and Valentine's Day this month. And I'm doing 14 days of lips and I've actually done this as my one of my combos. I love these because this is a nude, this is a nice sparkly one. So I, I think I can get so much use out of this, layering it with other shades. I love it, love the formula, love the colors, the pigment, everything. And this lipstick, Patricia did a great job. Next, I have another Benefit product now. This is like a small sort of sample version. It's the Bad Girl Bang Mascara. I have gone through so many. Like I said, I get my brows done at the Benefit counter frequently, so they always give me like samples of mascara, so I just take them. This isn't the first time again this mascara has been featured in my favourites. The wand on this is amazing. I'm wearing it today. You can get so close to your lashes. The separation it gives the extension it gives it makes them the vol it's not really it's more of like a lengthening mascara lengthening separation definition sort of thing love it really love it so <laughs> once i finish this sample and i don't get any more samples i'm going to buy the full size one next one is the malin and get i can't really say the name the acne daytime treatment it's two percent salicylic acid daytime treatment i love this little thing guys um, it's 15 mils, I forgot how much it was, but this has been a lifesaver for me. I use, I'm oily skin, I do tend to get um, breakouts every now and then they have, my skin has become a lot more under control, touch wood, but my routine is getting better, my skin's a lot adjusted a lot better, I'm not getting massive breakouts anymore, but when I do, you just, I just shake this, it's like a gel, you just shake this and you just pop, pop, you just dab it on top of the spot, I do it overnight the next day. I, I use It says daytime treatment, but I also use it overnight. You can put it on daytime and put makeup over it, it's fine. But I put it on, the next day it's shrunk in size. One of those products that you don't use all the time, but when you need it and you use it, it comes in so handy. So I threw this in my bag as well for traveling, I like having it with me as like a, a safe, a fail safe sort of, you know? but has been a hero for me all of last month. Next, I have something from Byredo. I have the Gypsy Water um, perfume. I have been shopping around for my next fragrance because the fragrances that are all on my list are really expensive. I don't want to invest that kind of money and not know if it works out for me or not. I am a fan of Byredo. I've got a long list. Gypsy Water has been on my list for the longest time. I have Rose of No Man's Land. This one is the close second. It's very rose, it's gorgeous. This is one of the most popular fragrances as well. This came in a set. I got it during Christmas time. If you watch my Mecca haul, I'll link that up here. You will have caught, caught this, that I bought this as well. It came in a trio and um, I've been using this one. As you can see, I've loved it. <laughs> used it and loved it. So I spray it on when I go in store. I really like it. I so said, let's just invest in something like this where I can try it out day to day, see the longevity, see how it adapts to my body chemistry throughout the day, and I've been loving it. So once I've finished all the vials, I will be purchasing the big size in this. Like I said, guys, I suck at notes, so just check this one out. A few moments later. I'll just get the notes up for Gypsy Water. I think that's only fair. So bergamot, lemon, pepper, juniper berries, incense, pine needles, orris, amber, vanilla, and sandalwood. 
again really gorgeous so a lot lo lovely mixture so fresh yet woody and then the last item on my favorite for january is another by red item and it's this time it's a candle it's the bibliotheque candle now this is completely empty i've actually been using it i've repurposed it for my expensive brushes just to look like an actual blogger <laughs> you know you're not a blogger until you have an expensive candle as your brush holder <laughs> no shape though guys i love it but um i, have, I love this candle Oh, I love this scent. Before I threw the money down on this big candle, I bought the small one. Absolutely loved it. And the wax in it is black, it's black wax. And when you put these candles on, like the scent is, it's not overpowering, it doesn't give me a headache. And, and it fills the room so quickly, it's gorgeous. I'm just gonna look up the notes for you guys. I don't think it's fair that I don't describe what it smells like. So these candles are handmade in France with mouth burn glass. So it says laced with notes of peach, plum, violet, peony, patchouli, leather and vanilla. There you go. So I found that I, a lot of the scents I like have patchouli in them, but it's not, it's not high up on the list. It's not too, too like, it's not too strong. It's a woody scent and it was, they did a Christmas set as well where this was in it with Fleur Fantôme, which I actually have burning right now and um i think it was what was the other one burning rose and it was in like a violet set so the violet is quite quite strong in this but so that concludes the end of today's video those were my favorites for the month of january so not too many but very specific sorry guys nothing drugstore comment below any of these products things that you've tried or loved or maybe you didn't like it love it thanks guys for tuning in hope you enjoyed it and if you did consider hitting that subscribe button down below and ringing the bell next to it so you don't miss out on any videos. And I can't wait to see you back here again, guys. <laughs>